Hey, this is Leo for Actualize.org. And in this video, I'm gonna cover how to build willpower. All right, so I'm back. We're gonna talk about willpower, how to build it, how to develop it, what it really is, and why it's important to your life. So what is willpower? Why is it important to your life? Let's get into this. This is a fascinating topic. Well, what willpower is, is really your ability to control your own impulses. Impulse control. So how easy is it for you to get yourself out of bed in the morning when you want to stay in all comfy and snuggy? How easy is it for you to get your ass off the couch and to the gym when your favorite TV show comes on? How easy, easy is it for you to say no to that donut or that pizza that shows up at the office? How easy, easy is it for you to get your ass into gear and start that project that you've been dreaming of starting, but you know you should start, and you just, for some reason, have been procrastinating on it, like writing that novel or starting that business or composing that song or directing that movie or whatever other activity you want to be doing out there. So willpower is necessary to do all of these things. Willpower really is your prefrontal cortex muscle. It's your prefrontal cortex and it's, a, it's ability to exert impulse control on other parts of your brain. So this is actually a physical phenomenon and willpower is something that can be developed. So if you have will, low willpower right now, or if you feel like you do, then don't get discouraged because actually I'm gonna give you some tips right now in this video for how to start building up your willpower. And I'm gonna also tell you some stuff that is robbing you of your willpower so that you can eliminate those activities that are really draining and atrophying your willpower muscle. So why is willpower important? Why do we talk about this? Well, willpower is critical to the success that you get in your life. And it's especially critical if you're on board with the kind of mission that I have for you and for myself, which is to be living an extraordinary kind of life, to be challenging ourselves, to be living a life of creative contribution. When we're out there expressing ourselves, when we're creating amazing careers and businesses, and we're starting these dream projects and we're fulfilling them and we're, you know, we're living on our edge, to do that takes willpower because that willpower helps us overcome the fears that naturally come up when we are out of our comfort zone. So willpower is important to advance your career. Willpower is important to stay on top of your life purpose and to pursue your life purpose in the beginning. Willpower is important to uh, working out problems in relationships and to make sure that you're being conscious and self-aware in a relationship. You're not just being triggered and you're not being a stimulus response animal in a relationship and just turning it to, sh to shit basically when you do that. Willpower is essential really to your happiness because happiness, one way to define happiness is to live integrity with your values and to do that means that you need to be disciplined enough to follow through on those activities that you know are good for you but that are oh so easy to fall through on. So let's get into some of this stuff. Well, you know, willpower is, I said it was like a muscle, and it literally is. To build willpower, the process of building willpower, is no different than going to the gym and pumping your biceps or pumping your quads or whatever it is, a muscle that you're working on, on your physical body. Your physical body actually atrophies from disuse. And the same thing happens with your brain, is that physically, and this has now been proven by neuroscience and some of the cutting edge neuroscience has been done over the last 20 years where they've really done a lot of MRI scans, fMRI scans, CAT scans and other things where they're really using these technologies and uh, uh, electroencephalograms are using these cool new technologies to, to, to look at what's going on inside your brain. They're analyzing and they're doing studies on people who are meditating and they're doing uh, studies on people who are doing exercise and people who are watching television and they're comparing the brain activity of all these people and they're looking at what's going on there. And what they're seeing is that the brain and the prefrontal cortex specifically can be built up by using it. So every time you 
actually use your prefrontal cortex by resisting some sort of urge, some sort of lower urge, then what that's doing is it's building up your discipline and it's building up your willpower reserve. So that means that anytime you get some sort of inclination to do something, if you can resist, then that will build up your willpower just a little bit. And then the next time you resist a little bit more, that builds up your willpower a little bit more. And the more you do that and the more you do that, that ratchets up your willpower and it builds it up just like it would a muscle. So there's really no way escaping having strong willpower and exercising willpower because the two are the same thing. If you're exercising your willpower all the time and you're finding those opportunities throughout the day, then you're going to have strong willpower. You know, it's going to take weeks, maybe months, maybe a year or more to get you to the kind of high level willpower that you want. But as long as you're taking those steps, just like you would with, you know, pumping your bicep, you're going to get there. On the other hand, if you're not taking those opportunities and if you're falling off and you're, you're, you're really falling through on that and you're not living up to, you know, your highest self, the highest self that you know you need to be, then you're losing willpower with each one of those, right? So it's kind of a matter of, are you building yourself up or are you building yourself down, atrophying? All right, so that's kind of the process. Let me tell you now some of the ways that you can build willpower. These are some of the scientifically proven most effective ways of building willpower. Number one is meditation. Meditation is thousands of years old and it's a really popular technique and it's remained popular for so long, for millennia, because it is so effective at building willpower and then the effect of that spills over into all areas of life. That's why meditation is powerful. Meditation not only feels good in the moment when you're doing it, but meditation is good at improving your performance in your career, performance in relationships, performance in the gym, everywhere, because it builds up that muscle. It really is like the gym for the brain. That's basically what I see meditation as being. And it's the number one proven way of building up willpower. It literally re-sculpts your prefrontal cortex physically when you meditate. And that puts you, uh, after a while, that puts you into a whole nother league of impulse control versus normal people. So go ahead and start meditating if you're not already. Start building up a practice of doing that every day for 20 minutes, that's what I recommend. And I have other videos that tell you exactly how to do meditation, so you might wanna check those out. Other things, exercise. Exercise is a really good way to build willpower because, well, it takes discipline to do that, right? It takes an exercise of willpower muscle just to get yourself into the gym, just to do the workout routine, just to lift that extra, extra five pounds of weight, just to run for an extra 10 minutes on the treadmill. That takes discipline to do, and exercise has a synergistic effect with uh, the discipline that it takes to go to the gym, then you're doing the exercises, all that just synergizes and builds up your willpower muscles. So that's a great one. Another one is breathing. Kind of seems a little bit silly breathing. We all breathe, but doing deep breathing, slow meditative type of breathing is actually a really good way to calm yourself down and to start to actually get in touch with a higher sense of awareness within you. Because most of the time throughout your day, you're running through your day on autopilot and you're not aware of your breathing you're not aware of what your body's doing. You're not even aware of what your mind is thinking most of the time. And when you start to breathe, breathe consciously, just like breathe in for four seconds deeply and then hold it. And then breathe out for six seconds. When you do that, I just did it right now and all of a sudden, look, my my thought patterns have already slowed down. My voice is slower, I'm talking slower, I feel more grounded. And when I'm in that kind of state, I have more willpower. I'm able to resist impulses much more easily. So practicing that, you can practice that really well with meditation, so you can couple breathing with meditation, or you can just do uh, separate breathing exercises. Make sure that you're breathing in and then your exhale is longer than your inhale. So your inhale, maybe four seconds, and your exhale, six seconds or eight seconds. That will calm you down, relax you, and get you really in touch with your whole body and your thoughts. All right, 
The next way to build willpower is just little things. I would say taking right action. Anytime you take right action, and this just means doing the things that you know you need to be doing, you know are healthy and good for you. When you do those things, that is building up your willpower. So these are just basic disciplines. For example, maybe waking up on time, not hitting that snooze button. How about eating right, resisting that dessert, resisting that junk food, that candy bar, resisting you know, that cheeseburger if it's not on your diet. How about working hard, going in and putting in a really solid day's worth of work at your job or in your business, being on top of that, staying on top of that stuff, making sure that if you do have a meditation practice that you're staying on top of that meditation practice every day and you're not being waffly about it and you're not skipping it one day here and one day there. Same thing with your, uh, with your gym routine, making sure you're staying on top of that very consistently. When you are doing all those things and you're executing on them, just do that for a week. Take right action for a whole week and just see how you feel compared to when you don't. You're gonna feel so much more alive. You're gonna feel so much more powerful and you're gonna feel like you have more control over your life and it's gonna be a lot easier to start to do the things that um, are a little bit outside your comfort zone because that's where your willpower is necessary. Now you've got those reserves, you can use them to start that dream project or start that new diet or crank it up even harder at the gym or whatever it is that you really wanna put in place into your life. So I find that, you know, that taking right action is the general rule of thumb that is important to building willpower. And finally, what I'm gonna talk about is ways to destroy willpower. So I've given you a lot of good ideas for how to build it up. Now we're gonna talk about what is robbing you of it. Okay, this is a pretty obvious list, but I'm sure that you're doing some of the stuff on this list. I know even I'm doing some of the stuff on this list, and so as I'm talking to you about it, I'm becoming more aware, and I'm making more of a commitment to get this stuff out of my life. Number one, television. Make sure you're not watching television. This is robbing you. This is killing you of your willpower. It's putting you into low consciousness zombie mode. Turn off the television. In fact, disconnect it. Disconnect your cable. I don't even own cable. I haven't owned cable for years. And it's been one of the best changes that I've made in my life. Such a simple little change, but it's amazing. It just, I have so much more uh, energy. I'm so much happier, so much more fulfilled. I'm doing so much more stuff. I'm so much more productive because I'm not watching television. Internet, really no different than TV. If you're a habitual internet browser, if you're always watching YouTube videos nonstop, if you're, if you're always checking the news, you're checking your email, you're chatting with your friends, cut that shit out. That's destroying your willpower. It's turning you into a low consciousness zombie. Snacking, overeating, any kind of ways in which you're using food as a crutch, as an emotional crutch, as a psychological dependency, cut that out. That's destroying your willpower. It's making you feel guilty. You're not taking right action there. You know that's not healthy for you. Sleeping in, if you're not waking up on time, I know that's actually been a problem lately for me because I have a very odd sleep schedule. I live in Vegas here, so I go to bed very, very late. and I tend to wake up late as a result, and that's a little bit screwing with my work schedule. So that's something I got to work on, sleeping in less. Um, drinking, alcohol, drugs, smoking, any kind of chemical substance abuses that you are partaking in, cut that out. That is destroying your willpower. It's also destroying your body, uh, destroying the performance that you can have in your life. It's really a waste of your life. It's a shame that you're doing that stuff. Cut that shit out. Video games. I used to partake in that a lot. I still do a little bit, but uh, not nearly to the point where I did before. Cut that stuff out, wean yourself off of video games. Huge time sink, huge willpower drain. Get yourself off that stuff. Porn, if you're addicted to porn, if you watch a lot of porn, unhook yourself from that stuff. That stuff is also hurting your willpower and it's destroying your energy, destroying your performance. So that's basically it. Those are the ways in which you're destroying your willpower. So if you cut some of those out and you put in some of those good methods, then you're gonna start to see that your willpower builds up and up and up and up the more you keep doing that. So for you as, a, as an action item right now, because I don't want you to just watch this video, I want you to actually take some action. Number one question to ask yourself is, what can you be doing to build up your willpower? What's the one thing for you that you know is gonna be right? Is it meditation? Is it exercise? Is it breathing? Is it waking up on time? Decide what it is, just one thing. Don't, don't try to fix everything at once, one thing. And then the next thing 
is what is the one thing right now that you're doing that's destroying your willpower? Jot that down, write that down, make it very clear in your mind. Is it too much TV, too much internet, too much sleeping in, too much drinking, too many video games, too much porn? Decide on that one thing and decide that you're gonna cut it out. So you're gonna put one thing into place and you're gonna take one thing out of place. And then you're gonna to start to watch what happens to your willpower. And if you stay consistent on that and you take right action, you're gonna notice a big shift. All right, so that's it. That's what I wanna tell you on willpower. I am signing off. Go ahead, post me your comments. Please like this and share this so this message spreads around if you like it. And of course, I'm gonna send you to actualize.org where I have a free newsletter with exclusive updates, exclusive content, exclusive 19 part video series, a chance to get two hours of free coaching from me, which I give away every month. And the reason that really you wanna sign up and the reason you wanna follow me is because the information that I'm sharing you, I have distilled down from years worth of research and I continue to do more and more every day. And I'm bringing you the best to help you master your psychology because I want you to create an amazing life for yourself. I really want you to create a life of purpose, something where you're going out there and you're contributing something awesome and you're feeling amazing about that. And you have amazing relationship. You have amazing success in your life. You have your money situation handled. You have your health situation handled, right? I want that for you. I know you want that for you. And I know how hard it is to get that and how hard it is to stay on, on track with that. So actualize.org, this is a rare opportunity for you to follow along to help you stay on course. That's what we're here to do is to give you the emotional support and of course some techniques and some understanding, but really the emotional support to stay on course with your dreams. So if you're into that, check us out.